Hey everybody, it's Marnie, Marnie, Marnie. Can you tell I like Marnie? Anyway, just want to go over a couple things with you and have a little bit of fun here. First, I'll just talk about these cards. This one here is a PSA 10 and it is the full art from Sword and Shield. The number right there. Come on, camera, zoom in. 200 slash 202. Anyway, this one here, I bought this off of eBay. It's a PSA 10 and I spent more money on it. A little bit more money than I want to because it's a 10. 10s are hard to get because PSA don't like... It seems like you can get lucky or, or not. They don't like to give out 10s anymore. I paid $255 for it. I sold a, one of my um, Bowen statues for $1,500. I dumped every penny into Marnie products from Pokemon. And I'm not going to be disappointed. So there's that one. And then this is a fun thing. This is actually a, a, a fan-made art. I bought it because look what she's holding. Free hugs. That's hilarious. Anyway, they took basically took this artwork and then they glued it on the back of a um, on the front of a, a Pokemon card. I wish they would have picked one that was a little bit more perfectly centered. I mean, how much does a common card cost? But obviously they didn't. They don't care, you know. Anyway, that, she's pretty. That's an awesome. That's awesome artwork. So I've got that. I think I paid $50 for this and it's well worth it. This is just for me to have some fun with, with Marnie. And um, I got the Japanese one that comes from uh, High Class V. It's coming. I haven't got it yet. Paid over $1,000 for it. So I'll have like a little collection of Marnies. I picked up a play mat. It's the standard one as you see right there. I got a really cool play mat coming. Um, I haven't got it yet. It, it's it's more of the lines of stuff like this. Um, so I picked those up. And as you can see in the background, um, I bought a thousand dollars worth of these boxes. Each one of these boxes has four cartons in. I paid $90 each. So it was like over a thousand dollars or right around a thousand whatever 90 times 12 is 90 times 12 and then it was like tax and i forget if there was shipping anyway i picked these up so 12 i had 15 marnies so there's four of these marnies in each one of those um those those cartons so i got i got 15 of them here four 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 plus three that's 12 plus three that's 15. And I got one of them. I finally got this in. Uh, remember I've been doing these, buying these Japanese booster boxes? Anyway, this one here is called Matchless Peerless Fighters. And sometimes they have different names depending on the translation. Basically, we want to go by this number here. This is an S5A. I paid $70, $78 for it. The artwork's pretty cool in the front. Got the legendary birds. And then some other Pokemon. I'm not, I'm not a fan of this Pokemon. A lot of people like him, but I'm, I'm not really a big fan of him. And we see there's the S5A. I am of the legendary birds. I picked this up just to have it. You know, it, it's okay. Um, it's, an, it's an okay box. It's sort of hard to, to show this with the plastic on there. And there's the code. So anyway, I was gonna tell you is I've been picking these up, right? So every once in a while, I'll, I'll see one listed and I'll go check some of the prices. Not of this one, but uh, the ones that I've shown you in the past, okay? Every single one of those booster boxes um, has gone up. And some of them have gone up a lot. Like I bought the High Class V for $110, and I just bought another one that cost me like $178. In just a couple months, it went up $60 per box. And like the, uh, I'll have to go over them. Let's see, the Sky Splitting Charisma, that jumped up a bunch. Um, off the top of my head, the Dream League jumped up a bunch, you know, all the, uh, and all these prices depends also on, on when you look. You can, you know, one day you can look and everything's high, and then once in a while you can find a good deal on something, so you might not think it is as high. You know, the, play, the prices do fl fluctuate. Like this full art here that I paid $255 because there was tax and shipping and everything, you might be able to find it. I think I paid... 
actually 235 and it was 20 in tax and shipping something like that okay so anyway you might be able to find this for an even 200 now that means i overpaid a little bit but at the time when i bought that bought this card here this psa 10 that was the cheapest one okay also i was going to tell you um some of you people that are new to you know my very small channel here i keep things sealed okay i don't open things like there's seven booster packs in here if i open this it loses money i watched a youtube video the other day okay i'm gonna write this down because it is so striking they open a magic alpha starter deck which one just sold for $96,000. They opened it. I watched them. It's uh, Alpha Investments had on. He opened it. And they lost probably half of their value by opening it. If they would get $40,000 out of the cards that were in there, they'd be lucky. So you're always better off not opening stuff. But that's hard to do because... Back in the day, I opened lots and lots of booster packs from Magic Boxes, you know, um, because you just couldn't help yourself. And we didn't know what the stuff would be worth in the future. So anyway, I just want to share some of that stuff with you and show you some of these um, Marnie pickups. Marnie is an awesome investment. I love this card. It's pretty cool. So I just want to show that stuff to you and uh, show you that you also can pick up these um, packs of four Marty boxes. And um, that's pretty much it. Have a good day.